Hi everyone, Emily here. Today we are going to draw a snake. So I'm really scared of snakes. My mum's really scared of snakes. Hello mummy, missing you. Hello daddy, missing you. Um, so I'm going to draw a snake and this is a snake I drew at one time and painted. I was actually really scared as I was doing it. It's really funny that if you're a bit worried about drawing a certain animal that you don't like, <clears throat> so some people don't like spiders, and when you're drawing it, you feel a bit like, ooh, <laughs> but it was really, really fun, and I'm quite pleased with it. So this is my toucan, which I thought I'd draw, I'll show you. My little toucan painting. And this is my kind of company logo. So I love chunky, big, honky blue birds. Um, so today we're gonna do a snake. I'm doing it for you, Eleni, and Eleni's aged eight. So I wanna see your finished thing, it'll be amazing. So the first thing you need is paper and a pen, so. Okay. You want it landscape. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna draw a shape that's a bit like a C. C. Not a C, but C for cat. Then you're going to touch the bottom of the C and you're gonna go la 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 la. Just across. If this is gonna be a big snake. So you go across and then you're gonna go up. And then you're going to do like tummy of a D. Depends how the video looks. It might be a D or a C or whatever, but it's like a bowl if you look at it like that. Then what we want to do is you're going to do another one, but it's going to go here. So you're going to go shape, and then you're going to touch this bit, and you're going to go da -da 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 -da, to about there. Then you're going to go. Whoosh, so what you're really doing is you're doing another one of those, but inside, so a smaller one. So that might not be as strange as it looks, as in it might be more rounded. So roundy bit, roundy bit. It reminds me of like a cupcake where you've got the cream on top for some reason. Then once you've done that, you're gonna touch this bit here and you're gonna go up just a little bit, not all the way, just a little bit. Then you're gonna touch this bit here and you're gonna go straight across but don't join it up, just stop. So you go straight across and stop. Then you're going to touch this bit here and you're going down. So just a little bit, just down. When you go to that point here, we're gonna go da da da, fly your pencil over to here. And then you're gonna do this. You're gonna find where that is with your eye. Just use your eyes because it's quite tricky. So you've gotta kind of be, I can use an artist eye, and then you're gonna go, you're gonna draw from here to here. And then, ah! So it's like a curvy thing. So just do a curvy thing, then you're gonna go, lo, 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 and curvy bit there. Because the snake, when you see when we finish, it's gonna be curved around. <laughs> They're lovely snakes, they just, just, I think because my, I, I don't know, because my family is scared of snakes, I think I am. Um, but you can get some really cool snakes as well. So they're going to touch this bit here and you're going to go da da da. And then. So think about it as though it's the neck coming up. So you're going to go line. If this is too confusing, you could just forget about that and forget about that and just do. But I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay. And then we're going to touch this bit here and you're going to go la la la. So just use your eye. Don't worry if you've gone a bit small, a bit big, it doesn't matter. But you want room for the head that's going to be here. So you want to go, meow. Now, can you see? It's like chunk, chunk, and then chunk. <laughs> so now we're going to do the bit of the body that's kind of like swirling. So what you want to do is touch this bit here and pause the video if it's a bit tricky for you. And you want to go, da da da. Can you subscribe and share if you haven't I really appreciate it It'd be cool and then we're gonna do because he's twisting what should I call him what should we call him hmm. Peter I'm gonna call him Peter Peter the snake right this is the underneath of his tummy now we're gonna do a tail as well so just think about about here think about carrot just and it's not just like that, the tail, because I'm gonna do like a rattlesnake with the rattlesnake tail. 
So we're just going to go around. It reminds me of the unicorn horn. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm giving you the impression that it's kind of rounded. So it's all the way around. Just try it if you can. And then we're going to do the head. <laughs> right. Okay, let's go. So I would start with a circle. We're going to have to rub out here, but just for your sake, we're going to do a circle. So think about a chunky bit. Now, can you see that's joined up, that's joined up. So make it quite large and do it round about here. So think about, reminds me of a, a sourdough bread. I don't know why, but something like that would be cool. Then touch this bit here and you're going to go up, like we're going up, we're going up and we're going around like that. So just think of it like, like that. Reminds me of a tadpole a little bit. Then you want to draw the face. Now we're going to rub out some stuff, but not yet. Now what you want to do is just on the potato shape, do a U shape, and then you're going to go out. So it's like a U shape and out. U shape, out. Right. Now we're going to touch this bit here. So just go up from that line and you're going to go. Nah. So just do that line. Then you're going to go. La. And you're going to carry on. You're going to do this. You're going to go like that. So if this gets confusing, we're going to start rubbing out lines. So get a rubber, get a, an eraser, and we're going to rub out this bit here because I'm changing the head of the snook. I had a, a, a yellow snake wrapped around me once when I went, oh, I can't remember where I was, but it started getting a bit tight around my neck and I, I just, yeah, it, was, it wasn't a good moment. Although, you know, I'm sure it was safe, but it just felt a bit like, ooh. Um, just trying to think if I want to rub anything else out. I'm just going to check the picture. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So get the rubber. If you still haven't, you haven't got it, and then just grab it. But we want to rub out this line. So rub away. Right. Now you've got the, the bit of the head because it's kind of swerving. Now, here, you want to just do this, just do a little line, just so it looks like he's kind of curving. Probably wouldn't go as far as to do anything else, just do it so it's curving. Now, now the head. <laughs> you can tell I'm sort of procrastinating. I'm trying to delay doing the head because it scares me. Right, okay, let's just get, get with the program, get with the program. Okay, I'm going to do this. So that's an eye, and then snake's eyes tend to be like that. And then we've got a little nostril. Ooh. It's quite nice not to do a pig nostril, you know, when you just have a round nostril, it looks a bit strange. Now, there's a little thing that's going to be round where the other eye is. Now, what you want to do is just here, you want to go, it's the mouth. So just think about line and like that. Just want a little mouth. And then you kind of want this bit to be like this. You're going to go up and you're going to go, Ch -ch -ch So you want, basically, you want a line inside the sourdough bread. Then we're going to rub this bit out, just this little bit here. If this makes no sense because it's quite detailed, don't worry. Just pause the video and go slow. I find that when I rush it, sometimes it's, it looks awesome and sometimes I think, oh no, I should have taken my time. So now we want an eye, his other eye. So the other eye, because it's on the side, Gonna just do that. Do it with a pencil because I can't draw with my thing now because I've put the Tippex. Never use Tippex, just to let you know. Okay, so we can do fangs. You can add whatever you like on your snake. So we could do a pink, oh, we could do a multicolored snake. Don't you think that'd be cool? We could do red, orange, yellow, purple, or just keep it simple and do green. But I'm I think I'm going to do a multicolored snake because it's kind of, I don't know, it looks kind of cool. So if you wanted to, you could create fangs because they normally have the fangs or the teeth when they bite into things. Or you can keep it friendly looking, which I might do, and just do a little line, just like that. And then I'm going to do the tongue. So I'm just going to do a line coming out, another line coming out. The tongue's not that kind of thick. 
and then you're just going to do the little flicker. So I think the this tongue generally fills the air and fills things around them. It's like cats with whiskers and how they fill things with their whiskers when they walk through doors and stuff. So this is my snake, very pleased with my snake, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> especially because I'm scared of snakes, but I think by this time, when I finish, I won't be scared. Now we want to do the, the, um, the scales. So it doesn't matter how you do the scales, you could do big scales like this. I wonder how you're getting on a Lenny, let me know, but you're doing awesomely. I bet you're all doing really good. It's quite fun, isn't it, creating a picture? Now, as you can see, I'm not doing them everywhere. You don't need to, because the human eye thinks that the whole snake's covered in these, because I've, I've done quite a few. So think about, you do not have to do the whole thing. I never really do, especially when I was in university. If I drew bricks on a building, you just draw some. You wouldn't draw it everywhere because then it gives the impression to the human eye that they're everywhere. So he's all twirly, as in he's twirling around. Uh, and we're just going to do U shapes like that. Very confused now. Quite satisfying drawing a snake actually. I don't think I'd ever say that in my entire life but there we go. Um, drawing a bluebell wood after that. I love the idea of bluebell woods. Uh, now just here I've just realised just where you've got that line, just do another line like that just because it looks more fierce, it looks a bit more ooh. If you want the head to be bigger you can make it more rounder but I quite like its head as it is. I don't really tend to have that much of a big head anyway. Now, because the snake's just twirling around, you could put it in a basket, you could put it in whatever you like. You might just do a line there, float your pencil over and do a line there, just to show that it's somewhere, because it gives it feeling that it's somewhere. Right, now the exciting bit. I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use... Oh, gosh, oil pastels. I'm just thinking, oil, pa oil pastels take a while... I might use chalk pastel because chalk pastel is messy but it's a bit quicker so if you really want to take your time with this I may use watercolour pencil if I wanted to take the time because it would look cool now I've decided I want a red snake I want an orange and red snake that's what I want no I don't I want a pink and a fluorescent pink snake sounds quite scary no it doesn't it's fine Right, first of all, I'm going to do this. You can just start colouring it in how you want, but I think it might look quite cool if we do this. So I'm going to take my darker colours from the two that I've got. So I've got a light pink and a dark pink. So I'm going to take my pink, and this could be blue, it could be green, any colour. It could be black. Ooh, black would be awesome, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, black and grey. Oh, a black and yellow snake would look really cool. So any colour that you want. But I don't generally draw on pink things, I'm quite intrigued. I <laughs> kind of want to draw them. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm literally outlining everything in my dark pink as well as, well, I'm basically going over and you, if you wanted to, you could do multicoloured scales. Someone did that in one of my art classes. I was absolutely blown away. I just thought, wow, it was. It looked amazing. It took a while for her to do, and this boy did like I think it was a black mamba. It was a black snake, and it was just oh, it looked amazing. And then this other boy did. I think it was like a peachy coloured snake um, with fangs, and that looked awesome. So whatever you do, make it your own snake. It's fine. So all of this is my darker colour of the two. So if you've got a green and a green, use the dark green and then the light green. Right, this is where I'm putting my light colour. Light colour? Light, light pink. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, I'm just going to do it here. This is if you put chalk or watercolour. If you don't have chalk or watercolour and you've just got normal coloured pencils, you could still do the same thing. 
to get a lighter version of your pink with a normal pencil, a normal coloured pencil, just press lighter. But if you can and your parents are able, then you could buy some watercolour pencils. But chalks are pretty, pretty good. They're quite cheap. Oh no. Just realised my video. Oh, it's still on. It's still on. I suddenly thought, no, I drew an amazing snake. And now, now I've got to restart. Right, one little finger. If you've got chalk, we're going to smudge, blend, blend away. Now, I don't mind going over these because I've drawn them in black. But you might want to just go over them carefully like, like that. Or colour it all a light colour, then go over it dark. So you could colour it all, this colour, like la 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 la, and then at the end go over with the dark pink. That might work better for you. But I quite like doing things differently. As soon as I've done something I like, I think, oh, how can I change it to make it slightly different? <laughs> right, forget the tip X, because obviously I've rubbed that out, which is quite annoying, isn't it? Very annoying. Might get a... Um oil pastel that I've lost, clearly. Oh, I'm going to just colour this red just because I don't want you to think that it needs to be a colour. So just imagine that's not there, that'd be great. And then an eye. Now a lot of people like to do red eyes, but I think I'm going to go for a blue. So it's going to be a blue eye. Ooh, awesome blue with a, what should it be, a yellow. Yellow always looks cool. It brings the picture to life when you do a yellow. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it over so you can see the eye. It kinda looks quite cool like that, I think. So, so, I'm gonna do, I might do a yellow tongue. It'd be cool like that. And then you could do inside there yellow or whatever. And then if you want to and you think, ah, my eye just doesn't look that that um that like it's standing out, you can go over the eye. I haven't got a black, so I'm using a a blue. And I'm just outlining. Can you see if I outline the face? It looks more ferocious. So you might want to get this is actually an oil pastel, which I wouldn't recommend using on chalk, but because it's just a picture for the video to help you and it doesn't matter. So have a go at doing the dark bits, subscribe and share this video. Maybe have a competition with your friends, not a massive competition, just see, see if your friends can draw the snake. It doesn't really matter what the snake looks like, but you could have a competition to see who could have the most ferocious snake, that'd be pretty cool. Now here, I'm gonna do some dark, because it's shadow, that's what you could do. Let's have a little bit more darky bits there. A little bit dark. I'm using blue, which is quite like it. It's funny, isn't it, how you can just experiment. <laughs> so I'm just doing a bit of darker there. And you could carry on and carry on. So, well, I literally do carry on and carry on and I just thoroughly love drawing. So the one I showed you was the, was the green snake, wasn't it? And it's, the head's quite small, isn't it? But I did a yellow background just because I love those drip backgrounds. So if you've got a colour, you could maybe do this. Just touch, I think I've shown you before, but going around the animal in any colour. And if you've got a watercolour, do the same. If you've got chalk, do this. If you've got normal paint, you could still do this. Then you either get water or your finger, depending on what you're using, and just can smudge. What I would like to do really is just prove to you that it's simple. If we keep it simple and we are confident and just experiment and enjoy it, then that's the whole point of doing these exercises. It makes your brain practice sort of proportion and drawing, and before you know it, when you think, right, I'm going to draw an elephant, it will just come naturally to you. That's why I drew 365 paintings. And it was just, out of the 365 paintings, I would say 90 of them are absolutely gorgeous and perfect in my eyes. And the rest are like, yeah, they're okay. 
but it was such awesome practice for me. It's my Etsy shop if you want to have a look. All of my paintings, um, not maybe all of them because some of them aren't there anymore, they've been bought. But it's Emmy Lou Paint a Day on Etsy, so have a look. Email me if you need to have that link, but it's in the links below the video. There we are, it's on the grass. Not that bothered about the grass if I'm honest. Oh no, I've lost my yellow. The only yellow I had. Right, never mind. Okay, enjoy doing your snake. I really, really enjoyed this video actually because I was so scared of what what the snake would feel like when I drew, drew it, but I really, really like it. So have fun, show me your snakes, and um, I'll be doing a bluebell wood, and I wanna do some kittens as well. So I shall see you soon, take care.